It's the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Welcome to another episode of the Mike Prince Show here on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Of course, it is our mission to try to bring you some news you could use. Today is no exception to the rule. You can follow me on Twitter at the Mike Prince Show. The YouTube channel is the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Our website is OBN Radio. Dot com And in case you have one of those smart devices, all you have to do is say, hey, play the latest episode of the Mike Prince Show. And just like that, you'll have everything that you need. And with all that being established, let us jump right into today's episode. Well, we're on the eve, allegedly, of the start of the softball tournament from Gulfport, Mississippi, for 2023 Southwestern Athletic Conference. And I say allegedly because due to the weather forecast in Gulfport, it is scheduled to rain the entire week. Now, I know I had got my locations of Mississippi mixed up earlier. I was saying Biloxi. But with the weather report, they might want to consider and look what the weather is going to be like in Biloxi before they can get this thing off the ground. But nonetheless, we'll keep you posted on how those things develop. Of course, the Prairie View A&M University Panthers, the number one seed overall, but more importantly out of the West, as would be Alabama State. So the way things are slated to start, Prairie View will open up against number four seed Jackson State. Alabama State will open up against number four seed Alcorn State. Then you'll have FAMU facing off against Grambling. Bethune-Cookman will go against Texas Southern. So it's all supposed to start 9 a.m. Central Standard Time from Gulfport, Mississippi. We'll keep you posted on the development of the games, whether they're played or delayed. We'll keep you posted on our Twitter handle at the Mike Prince Show. Meanwhile, on the baseball diamond, the Panthers have picked a bad time to start slipping. They had scheduled a four-game series over the course of the weekend against the Southern Jaguars to make up a game in their standard three-game series. However, one of the games were rained out. And the Panthers were scheduled to play Friday, a doubleheader on Saturday, and then conclude on Sunday. However, they did play Friday. Panthers lost 3-2. Saturday, doubleheader was rained out. They played a doubleheader on Sunday. Then the Panthers lost 11-3 and 11-2, which means the Panthers had slipped three games in the weekend that was. So now with the way the standings are looking in the West, you have Grambling State, who stays hot. They literally destroyed Texas Southern by the score of 20 to 9 over the course of the weekend. Right now, it's a flip of the coin between Texas Southern and Southern University for 2 and 3, and Prairie View in at number 4. Now, the Panthers have two major series remaining. They're going to face off against Texas Southern and number one seed, Grambling State. Now, the beauty behind both of those series is that the Panthers will be at home. So the Panthers are going to have to muster up some home cooking, get some timely hitting, and some reliable pitching to try to move themselves from that number four spot at least to number three. Because if the tournament were to start Today, the Panthers will be facing off against Alabama State, who's number one from the East. So it'll be one versus four, vice versa, and they mix and match until you have the last team standing. So the Panthers got to get things off the hump. They got one more non-conference game against Rice, but you never can tell. They might have to cancel that game due to the fact of the game that they still must make up with Southern University. Texas Southern is also in a log jam. They had a couple of rainouts against Southern University. And so Southern is all over the place. And these games are going to be very important to try to get in 
with the way the standings are shaping up. We'll try to get in contact with Coach Olin Parker to further break these things down, and we'll talk about that. And not only that, but the all of a sudden resurgence of Jackson State. Jackson State had a strong weekend against FAMU, and so now their stock is rising, and they're peaking at the right time as you get closer to tournament play. We know the tournament is scheduled to start May 24th from Atlanta, Georgia. And we'll get you paired up with all the seedings and everything that comes with that when the time permits itself. So it is a great opportunity, great atmosphere for softball and baseball here from the Southwestern Athletic Conference and beyond. So hopefully the Panthers can get some things in gear, get the bat swinging, and try to get back on track. They're going to start. I I know we got that Rice game, but I'm not really concerned about that Rice game right now. You got to see how you can pair off against Texas Southern. It's going to be a huge, huge, I almost said tournament, but a huge series, which will have an impact on the tournament one way or the other. So it's always heated when those two get together, and we'll see what the end is going to be. That is scheduled for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday this coming week on the Hill at John Tankersley Stadium. So we'll see how everything works out with that. We're going to... Go ahead and exit stage left for right now. We do thank you guys so much for joining in with us. It is a joy and a pleasure to be able to present to you on a daily basis. But I do want to leave this little reminder with you for those who are listening abroad. If you would like to be an affiliate correspondent with us here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network, doesn't matter where you're living doesn't matter who you're rooting for we can work something out where you can be a correspondent for that said southwestern athletic conference program uh whether it be doing some reporting interviewing whatever the case may be feel free to drop us an email at omb network at gmail Dot com. I'll recite that one more time for you. OMB Network at gmail.com. Simply put in the title subject page, broadcaster. Let us know a little bit about you. We'll get in contact with you and we'll see what we can sort out. But meanwhile, I am going to exit stage left. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Thank you guys so much for joining in with us. Don't forget, follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. The Twitter handle is The Mike Prince Show. The YouTube channel is The Open Mic Broadcast Network. Hit that bell notification and never miss a production that we create here from The Open Mic Broadcast Network. And until the next time... You guys be blessed, and we'll see you on the other side.